Mm -hmm. Abuse of position of trust or use of a special skill. Yes. The defendant abused a position of public or private trust or used a special skill. Yeah. In a manner that significantly facilitated the con con commission or concealment of the offense. Yes. Now, these judges. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, that don't uh, have the legal obligation to inform the durable power of attorney of the requirements of the law. Yes. You can't just give them something that says, well, you have to do this, and you have to do this, and you have to do this, and you have to do this. Yes. And then you can't just give them a copy of the local court rules and the Supreme Court rules. Yeah. In fact, you cannot advise any petitioner of the court of the laws. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like you can issue court orders where you can deprive an individual of their rights. Yeah. And then when I tell you, yes, you decided to misprison all the false arrests. Ouch. And then when I asked you to remove your fraud. Now I'm going to have to really uh, sue. Yes. The abuse of the position of a trust. Yes. Known as the judge in each and every court of the United States. I want the judges in prison. I want you in prison. Do you understand that? Yeah. I want you in prison. Yes. You have abused your position of trust. Yes. As a public official. Yeah. Because you allowed for the durable power of attorney. Yes. yes, yes. To construct some intentional contempt of court. Yes. Because you didn't feel an obligation to make sure that all the requirements of the law were explained. Yes. And all the rules of the court. Yes. Now, we have in the past opened the courts for civil matters for any citizen that wants to petition the court. Yes. But considering your legislative intents on every law that you pass, yes, you have approximately 50 different forms. Now, I think it's gotten too complicated. There are just too many parts to the actual judicial process of each and every um, county court. Yes. Federal courts, yes. State courts, yes. The individuals known as the indigent pro se petitioners that have the power of attorney are not knowledgeable. Yes, they don't have the intellectual acumen yes. to understand what the law says.